Hi, this is Lauren Weinberger with ID8 TV, and we are here with the actor Reggie Lee, who plays Sergeant Wu on Grimm. How are you? I am good. This is pretty amazing right here. I don't think I've ever seen it this crowded here, so this is really great. Great turnout. Well, congratulations on being honoree for the night. What does that mean for you? Um, you know, it's especially coming from my home theater, uh, and, and we've worked so hard, and a lot of us have come from this theater and gone on to do a lot of really great stuff outside of it, you know, coming back home and being honored by them and recognized by them, I feel like it's so gracious and generous of them to do, especially being called a visionary of all things, you know, uh, I feel old now, I feel like it's a Lifetime Achievement Award or something like that, but I think it's, it's nice to be able to come back and bring my entire, I have like my entire cast is here, which is amazing in terms of the support I get from them, so it's, it's, uh, it's nice to be back home with them. So what role, you mentioned East West players, so what role do you think East West players has had in your career development? Uh, well, definitely, you know, when I got here from New York, they took me under their wing and um, gave me a home, uh, very much a playground in which to do my work. And especially Tim Dang, who just took over being artistic director at that time, really took me under his wing, cast me in a lot of shows that he directed, and um, we worked really well together, you know? And I, I just think that I grew a lot as an actor, especially here. So I, from there on, it really helped me outside and to do really, um, f hopefully, formidable work outside of East West Players. So speaking of your work, what motivates you to get involved with the project or take on characters that you love to take on? Well, nowadays, you know, there was, I, for, I'll give you for instance, when I was offered the, uh, uh, the movie Safe with Jason Statham, there was this bad guy, and I played so many quote-unquote bad guys, I never think of them as bad guys, but, you know, but this bad guy had to, like, adopt this girl and use her for a year to learn how to open up safes and steal money, and he eventually ended up feeling like a father to her. So there was this dichotomy of emotion that was like, where you, you, I've got this daughter now, and how do I do this? So I love things that are like kind of complex. I love complexity. I think any actor will tell you that. They love a little bit of complexity. So, you know, and it's great, especially with Grimm, with my story moving forward and the first major, right, I know, right? My fir the first major, I think, major Filipino storyline on U.S. network television. I think it's really starting to move along. So. Um, I'm happy. We'll see what we'll see what the future holds. So, speaking of your character on Grimm and his finally his development, what motivated you to give him the backstory that you did without it actually being explicitly written for you? <laughs> well, I always take it from the story, so I always take it from whatever is on the page, whatever's on the script, and it literally came from that one line where he said, in the, literally in the pilot, there was one line where Nick bumps into me and I say, "Oh, I guess I should have worn my airbags today," and. I thought, this is a sarcastic guy, he's a sardonic guy, and I'm going to build from that. And from there, I looked up like being sarcastic, and it's generally people that are insecure. So I was like, what am I insecure about? So everything came from something, and everything came from the page. So it was nice to kind of build on that. And then, you know, the writers just kind of like jumped in as well. Like they jumped in, saw what I was doing, and it was nice tag team work there. Any advice for anyone looking to follow in your footsteps? Study. <laughs> I know they're, they're going to hate that. I just say study. I always do because I feel like you always have to get, I, for lack of a better term, better and better. And you have to get deeper and deeper and in, into your emotion and vulnerability. It's all actor talk, but I feel like it's the only way to enjoy yourself and it breeds longevity. So that would be my main advice. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations well, on your award and also on your character being expanded in terms of his story.